So it's uh, 11 a.m. on the, what is it, the 10th? It's the day after the 10th anniversary. It's on the 10th of September right now, and I'm in my downtown pad and invited Todd and Jason out here. Cheers. Cheers, you guys. I saw you for all of like three minutes yesterday as you were going into session one, yeah. and then, uh, whew, then the day was over, like, you know, that. Yeah, with my quick. Well, so, it for us, though, we went all over the place after. <laughs> I know, you went, you had a yeah. few places around town. Yeah, we didn't Fine. stop. Yeah. <laughs> we were actually uh, completely beer free on the Stone Crew yesterday, so. Uh, oh, we, we were heard putting the, on the, uh, uh, putting on the event. We uh, heard little whispers of dissent. Uh, discontent? I don't blame them. I mean, hey, you know, we're a beer enthusiast, so when you're faced with that many breweries and you're not drinking, but we put on the event for everybody else. Believe me, I think a few of us had our beers after the event, just fine. And we're all booster afterwards. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're here with uh, Annette and her crew. Annette, what Hello. are you doing here? We're making a movie called Beer Wars. Yeah. That'll be out early next year. And what kind of release? Uh, theatrical release. Sweet. And then we'll be selling DVDs, and then we'll be on television somewhere. Okay, well, we'll sign me up for one of the DVDs, definitely. I actually met Annette. When did we do March. our segment at Stone Brewing? March. March? It was that long ago already? Okay, so she came down to the Stone Brewing Company and shot a bunch of stuff in a, a restaurant in progress and at the brewery. And you're going to be coming back here in a little while, right? Right, to when you're done. And so Can't wait to see what it looks like. Last time I saw you, you were moving boulders. <laughs> humongous <laughs> boulders. And then we went up in the cherry picker and... Oh, that's right. right. You wanted to go the up there. We, we, yeah, yeah, we, we got the uh, bird's eye view onto everything. Yeah, it was really great. I can't wait to see what it looks like now. Yeah, we're yeah. coming back, too. Yeah. All right, we'll have yeah, a reunion. We don't, we, don't, we don't talk to you, actually, about doing a, um, a big, like, maybe like a beer advocate beer dinner or something. Yeah. I think we could probably manage something like that. I don't know. It's, thematically, it seems like we might be able to handle a beer dinner event at our place. I don't know. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, let us know. Maybe that's what we'll do now. Okay. We could just have like a free for all. Uh, no, we call it beer enthusiasm. Right. Yeah, free for all is uh, yeah, <laughs> something else. A, yeah, yeah, free for all is what's going on right down here. We we've uh, we're hearing the sound check sounds from the uh, Southern Comfort and maybe also sponsored by uh, Bud Light. We're not certain. Uh, music Fest. Are, are you guys planning on hitting that after the interview right now? Yeah, we're taking you with us, man. <laughs> I just want to get on the double decker bus. Yeah. <laughs> I think the answer is no. <laughs> we're actually going to go to the Coronado Brewing Company. They're having their 10th anniversary celebration here. Yeah, everyone everyone's having their 10th. I know, you guys. Yeah. Us, Coronado, who else? A million other breweries. Isn't Sam? It's crazy. Uh, Sam Calgione? Yeah. Uh, he acts like he's 10. <laughs> I mean, no, I didn't say that, Sam. No, how old is Sam? He's a couple years older than that. It's like they're like 12 years old or something with a dog fish head. Maybe 11. Yeah. 11? Okay. Yeah. Ale Smith is 11. Yeah. Okay. Well, enough of that. I know you got some filming to do. You brought all the whole crew down from L.A. Hello. Hello, crew. <laughs> they're used to being on the back side of the camera, so. That's right. Okay, cool. All right. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Great. So, Todd, how has the internet influenced their culture in America? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, the internet has uh, literally given consumers about the ability to talk about beer. I mean, like other, I'm sure there's like other products and whatnot too. Same thing. But it, uh, it's given beer a voice in a way, or it didn't really have one before. The only voice we saw was like what commercials like. You know, Bud commercials or something. That was the voice of beer for the masses, um, which is why they were able to literally dominate the market for as long as they did. Um, but now with the internet, everyone becomes a critic. You know, everyone has a has a voice, and you know, we've got close to 80,000 users now who are using the site on a day-to-day -day basis, and they're talking about craft beer. I mean, that's going to make an impact, and we're only getting bigger and bigger. I mean, like two million unique visitors a month now, uh, it, it's great. Yeah. It, what it's also done is like a small brewery in the middle of like nowhere, California or something, uh, you get like 10 uh, beer enthusiasts starting to talk about them and the next thing you know, hundreds are turned on, and thousands are turned on. And it's, it's amazing. Todd, what made you decide to start the site 10 years ago? Yeah, back in 1996, uh, I returned from England and I was getting into the uh, 
the ales and everything and the cast condition beers over in England. The uh, the microbrew revolution, like when I came back in 1996, was pretty pretty much peaking at that point. And we had so many great beers when I came back. We were trying. It was, yeah, it was uh, interesting because we were doing a lot of home brewing at the time. So we were taking notes on our home brew, but also taking notes uh, of other brands out there. Um, almost wanting to maybe clone those beers and right. just figured, well, if we're taking notes, why write them down? Why not put them on the internet? Yeah, and I had a job at the time uh, working for an internet marketing company, and I was, you know, learning about the skills, coding skills and whatnot. And uh, I was like, well, you know, we're taking all these reviews. We should have an ability for us to share them with each other. So we created a website, and as more and more people started visiting it, they started asking for features, so we created the forum. And then we're like, well, we should allow everyone else to review beers as well. So we added that feature, and it just snowballed after that. Okay, now that we're finally done with the interview, it's time to get out of here. G, please. G. We're gonna go have a beer at Coronado Brewing Company. You guys have already had your beer. A lot of beer, yeah. <laughs> gonna have a couple more. Huh? Yeah, there's always room for another. I've got room for some. Always definitely room for some. I'll be sipping though. Definitely sipping. Right. Yeah. We gotta pace it out. Yeah. Keeping that good pace. No chalices, no boots. <laughs> no yards? No. no. All right, here we go. Time for the toast. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Not your first beer of the day, but definitely mine. I like the IPA here. Pour it on, they make good IPA. A little bit of beer into it, about that much. And the conversation starts flowing a little bit better, at least for me sometimes. Not that I require that, but it, it just helps. And uh, so we were covering the fact that, uh, Jason, you just you quit your day job. Yeah, I quit my day job. Uh, you got to take a risk sometimes, and it's a pretty big risk, but I have faith in what we're doing. And, you know, I'm, just, I'm done working for the man. I want to be the man. 100%. You are the man. You are the man. <laughs> 100. 110% beer aggregate. Now, let me ask a question that must be on everybody's mind. Knowing that you guys are notoriously cantankerous uh, from time to time, I think really? especially you, but uh, I don't know who, who depended on more than the other. How did the two of you get along? Good. Yeah, very good. No, we get along fine. Oh, come to, on, I want to come on. No, we do better than that. We used to kick each other's asses in high school. But right right now, it's uh, no, no, no punches to the head or the face and nothing below the waist. So. Yeah. Gotcha. But body shots, basically. Body shots, mid body shots. Hopefully we are. Gotcha. Right, you know, even that seems a little risky to be anywhere near. Do you want to have some fun? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, just uh, one more, <laughs> and I'm there. No problem. I'll take it, and now I know what to do because I know what you're not used to. It's your, it's your tough birthday. That's like yeah. Ten, don't expect me to play fair right? like you guys do it's with like each ten other. Punches. Now's the time. Oh. Is that all you can do? Oh, all right. Yeah, go ahead. Give me a good one. I'll give you a good one. Okay. And now it's my turn. Let's see how. I, and it wasn't much. Notice how I'm holding the camera in that left hand, all steady and everything. Where was it? On a scale of one to ten, about a three. It's a good thing you're not the brewer of stone. Yeah, I'll just take that way. Because we'd all be drinking, we'd all be drinking loggers, little fizzy loggers. <laughs> it is definitely time for another round. Oh, that was great. That was great. Michael, you're like a <laughs> Hello. <laughs> now the next time, the next round is between you, Michael, and Jason. What do you say? How about it? I think I'm up to the task. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. That sounds like a Boston raised, born and bred kind of person to me. You guys on the East Coast? No, no violence today. Today's Sunday, no violence. Are you East Coastians supposed to have this natural just uh, propensity towards, uh, you know, fisticuffs? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. We hate hippies. Some of us do. You guys are okay. Not me, though. Uh, okay. I think a lot of people would be in trouble if it was me. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge in and of itself, but I'm going to let that go. All right. Well, in that case, how about love of beer over over violence? And uh, besides uh, that uh, shot that uh, Todd gave me to my, uh, my shoulder, 
could hardly be qualified as, uh, as uh, violence. It was more like a, it was like a love hat, if you will, which I'm flattered, but I feel a little awkward. Whatever you gotta say to make yourself look good in front of the camera. Right. Yeah. That's pretty much <laughs> how I play it. That's how I roll. Clearly, you, I don't know. All right. Whew. Let's see what happens on the second beer. You may not even see it. <laughs> One beer alone. This is a Stone. Uh, no, I, this, I was gonna say the Stone 10th anniversary ale. This is the Coronado 10th anniversary IPA. Double. Nice. Double IPA. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, as if uh, the viewers at home weren't figuring that out about that. You like it? What's the rating? Oh, like Where's your notepad? Um, I don't do that in public. Never? No, I really don't. Oh, really? You rate beers at home? You do your ratings at home? And you, yeah, usually at home. I, I like to enjoy the moment when I'm having the beer, enjoy it with friends, and the social part. I think whipping out that notepad, just not me. So other people can do that. Sure. Fine, whatever. But not me. Oh, yeah. Great. Socializing and reviewing, uh, there needs to be that separation. Right. And now it's time for a round with the Stone Crew here. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Paul, take off my hat. What are you doing with my hat on? Hey. This is only the second beer into it. How many beers are you doing for you? This is quite good. And it's very good. Yeah, it is good. I don't know what it is. It's actually Spanish point. Cheers, you guys. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. The Coronado Brewing Company. Yeah, Coronado Brewing Company. Happy anniversary. Rick uh, is the co-owner of the... Uh, Enjoying their 10th anniversary double IPA, and Rick is the co owner of the Coronado Brewing Company. Right. Drinking the Coronado Island Bison, my favorite beer. I think this is my favorite Coronado beer right now. I typically drink your IPA, which I really enjoy, but this double IPA, hey, it's right up my alley. Nice job. And I'm just reminiscing here that I was here 10 years ago when you had your opening event. It's amazing. We've been 10 years together.